Microsoft Office, which still leads the market. So, you know the drill. But yeah, let's go back in time. Let's go back to the late 80s, early 90s. Well, let's install some gold stuff from the past. Am I right? So let's list the files. Oh, it's not drive eight. <laughs> That's why. That's why it's drive B. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Because it's a different size. Well, let's abort that. Let's go to B. Which works, of course. So let's install this baby boy. There you go. Word perfect installation. 982, 989. Word perfect corporation. RM. Okay, yes. Yeah, let's install and display color. Do you see red, green, and blue colored boxes? Yes. I can see color. Yeah. Selection basic custom network printer. Let's go with a basic install. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I want to install that. Is why not? It's a very handy setup screen. I like it. It's very clear, very simple, easy to understand, you know. Not as complex as some stuff from the past. Okay, so now we have to get disk uh, utilities number two, which is, I don't have it. Oh no. Oh, I do have it. It's because the name's different but it's there so yay yay for that my boys if you want to use a word perfect yeah let's let's install it because why not help files provide online help yeah sure keyboard files yes Style library, yeah. Printer, no. Yes. So let's get the master disk in there. It's a drive B. Master program one. There you go. So press enter and it goes. Does it go? Okay, I think it's doing something. Yeah, it is definitely doing something. Because the lights are blinking, so. There you go. So it's time for this number two, which we're going to get inside. Hey, SAP. There you go. I suppose. Damn, it's kind of slow. Ah, fuse 80s, man. Do you want to install the speller? Yeah, why not? Spell this is all ruse. Oh my god. So that's when uh do you guys remember like in friends when Joey was writing <laughs> the letter using this all ruse as reference? Oh boy, good old days. I don't think it's uh oh yeah, I forgot you click inside the window. Down me. But yeah, it brings back some memories from friends, which you know it's perfect portrait of the nineties. Oh boy. It's a uh, uh yeah, let's install that. That would be cool. I could make my own friends episode. I'm trying to get some random words, some random complex words to sound very intelligent. Speller number two, there you go. Can give you alternate word choices. That sounds like fun. My kind of fun. So yeah, let's definitely get that installed. PTR, what's PTR? If you want to use auto font support, no, no thanks. Do you want to install graphic drivers? They also, okay, yes, yeah, so let's install that. And before it blows up the computer, and there's a uh, PTR program, there you go. So press enter, now we gotta wait. For it, you got files in there. 
Oh, so far so good. So this number two, we go bingo, bongo, bish, bash, bosh, PTR program. And then we can press enter and uh, I think it was the wrong one. Oh, I missed. I I know what happened there. PTP. Maybe it's this one. No. Oh, shoes. No, 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 no. What's going on here? Okay, there you go. There you go. It was the wrong floppy. I'm sorry about that. So sorry about that. Did I mean? Did you make this mistake? And now we got back on track. If I small, I'm not too floppy. If you do, the, no. You want to install graphics? Yeah, sure. Config system. Yeah. If you like to have it added, yeah. Press any key. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Run and install. I you know file handles to run were perfect. Before printer, you need to reboot. Noting down, control down, is run and install. If you choose not to reboot, I don't want to reboot. So, exit. Change to the board perfect directory, which. Oh yeah, that's the wrong disk. My bad. Uh, let's list the files, and we can. Oops. Then we list. So what are we supposed to do here? I don't actually know. So we have a clock. Let's see what he does. Bad command. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, okay, maybe we have to no. Lame. Uh how are we supposed to run this? <laughs> how are we supposed to run Word Perfect? Uh let's Google it. Command to run Word Perfect on DOS hmm I don't know line Great. There's no help. There's no help at all regarding that, which is not as cool as I imagine it would be. Hmm. Where's the got him help? I need some aid here. Okay, so it seems like I have to figure it out on my very own. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Word perfect. Command list. Oh, there you are. Function keys. The commands though. How do we open it? So it's a word processor that works in DOS. I'll tab tap. It's great. Hardly any di hard disk usage, which is true. But how are we supposed to open it? It doesn't tell me how to open it. Okay. So let's go back to the file root. Uh, let's try that. Bad command. I think I might have screwed up big time. Let's try something different. There's no setup. 
Maybe there's an install command. Oh yeah, there you go. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, so we have to reboot, which is great. So let's reboot and see what happens. Let's get the drive, uh, oh, drive B, there you go, ejected. Just make sure they won't throw any sort of error before trying to boot into the system. So the command is install. It took quite some time to figure out, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so CD with 51. Okay, now we are supposed to run install. Which, yes, 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 yes. Printer, printer one, numbered, install printer master. Okay, drive B, printer one. There's three of them though, which is not cool. I don't have a printer. Uh, if your printer is now listed, let's go with this Acer, yes. Okay, let's get this disk inside. I don't even know I'm doing that because I don't have a printer, but let's just go with the flow, you know? Sometimes we better just go with the flow. Oh, there's four of those. Four of those, my dudes. Printer, tree into B. I think I got into A, which is lame. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Please be the last disc, because I cannot stand that anymore. I'm bored. I'm pretty bored. Do I want you to install? No. No, thanks. Enter license number. Type, uh, do you have your customer license number conveniently displayed whenever you press help? Oh, okay. So it's not even a sort of DRM. It's just like, oh, get your license in there if you wish. If you don't, just don't get it in there. So let's go with WordPerfect 999-1235-761. Okay, that's my license number. She is a bit of paper size, large size, or blah, 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 blah. Okay, press any key to exit. To change, to run word perfect change to the word perfect directory typed WP and press enter. Okay, sounds like fun. I'm gonna love it. Invalid, oh, what do you mean? Excuse my. Oh, there you go. So here's word perfect. <laughs> Hello, I am writing something. I think, I don't know how to use that but it's pretty dope indeed look at this amazing blue screen it's like the sky but a little more <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here roses are red violets are blue your mom is gay and so are you Beautiful. Ah, that's cool. How do we save? <laughs> that's that's the big question. How do we save? Okay, so F10 saves apparently. Let's try F10. Ooh, yes. Let's save it like simple. Uh, not exe Jesus. So yeah, we got it saved. What else can we do? Review codes. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's not review that. Indent list underline block function keys. Search help. We have a help key. Cool. <gasps> Ooh. Enter exits help. It's so cool. I'm liking that because like there's no distraction. It's just a blue screen. It's just you, the text, 
the weird font but yeah that's pretty much it you know there's not a lot between you and the screen nothing like that will distract you like no notifications no other applications no nothing going on other than just the blue screen which is amazing I mean that helps a lot to write stuff Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty damn cool. Let's try bold. Bold, but not that old. Everything that kills me makes me feel alive. I like that. It's a very cool bold. Let's see what list does. List. Oh, it's a. Ooh, no, 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 no. How do we. Oh boy. I, I fucked up. How do we actually that? Oh, I have seven. There you go. So we're getting used to it. But how are we supposed to change the font? I want to do that because I'm bored. I don't want to use that font. Uh, there is a way to it. So I enter now. Clipboard, Windows Clipboard, DOS applications. I thought there was a sort of menu up there, like with options, but apparently there's no menu there. Search down, cancel, shell, and then list, bold, underline, and field save. It's really simple. There's not a lot. There's not a lot going on, apparently. So yeah, rip. Seems like we just have that. That's all we have for today, which is not a problem at all. So. Goodbye, guys. Hope y'all oh, liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and like if you wish. Adios. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys.